Welcome back to the TMF Podcast. I've been waiting for this day for too long. And this day that I am talking about is the return of SEAL Team. Season 6, Episode 1 dropped today. Spoiler alert if you haven't seen it because... Mm. If you forgot how it left off, if you don't remember, the whole team was under attack on a mission. They, um, they got hit with some RPGs. Blew up the, the trucks that they were around, blew them up. And that's how we left it. Oh. And I just kind of almost forgot about how like, intense it was. Let me tell you who didn't forget about it. SEAL Team. They came back right in the middle of the action, through the smoke, and uh, it was rough, man. This show, I've watched it since season one. We've talked about a lot of the episodes on the show. And it really... It, it gets to me. I don't know. They do a great job. I've always said this of resonating the characters with the audience. And if you guys know me, I'm team clay all day. I do. I'm a big fan of Jason Hayes character, Sonny Ray, all of them. And I would say even second to clay is Sonny for sure. And Jason, I don't know. You can't really even rank them, right? They're all such great characters. And the way that this one played out was, um, dude, it's a tearjerker. The whole episode was a tearjerker, right? Because we kind of assumed that someone wasn't going to make it out of of this um, this altercation, and that was kind of presented to us. And we we kind of went in, in down the road of saying that Clay's probably not going to make it out because Max Thoreau is doing another show. Um, there's just not enough time in the day to do both, right? So we figured they'd probably phase Clay's character out, and then prior to them even going on this mission. Clay said that he was going to be uh, withdrawing from Bravo to, to, to spend time with his family. So we think that Mas Master Rose character is going to go out. So what happens? They get blown up, <clears throat> and uh, as everyone's coming to, we see Clay's kind of unconscious on the ground, and then uh, Sonny takes a look at his foot, and his foot's just the other way, and you're just like, holy shit. And uh, look, throughout this entire scene and sequence of events where Bravo is just left to hang to dry and fight these insurgents on their own. Um, Jason obviously took a hit and, and just went on kind of a suicide mission up the mountain, took out some guys, ran out of, you know, obviously his guns gets damaged and he gets the RPGs up there and he just starts, you know, freaking sending them toward the enemy and <coughs> everything, excuse my cough, everything about this entire um scene just keeps you on your edge right because they're just getting down they're just getting lit up left and right clay comes to sees his leg tears the tears the um the pants apart and sees his leg is just blown to shit just just blown in half and <clears throat> it's still attached but it don't look good and he immediately throws up and you're just thinking like to yourself what would what is going on through their mind and I think that this show has always done such a great job, a phenomenal job of telling the story and telling the story of service members who are active, who are going through this, who've seen it, who've lived it. And, you know, part of me thinks back to um, Lone Survivor. You're like, dude, if he can survive this, Clay can make it out, right? Like the things that people are, the human body is willing to take is, um, it's pretty wild. So they go to the firefight. Somehow they make it through the firefight. They are beat to shit, and they get Clay out of there, and they get him to the hospital. And the entire sequence of events from there is just so gut-wrenching. To see Clay laid up like that, to see the team. Um, these actors do a phenomenal job of making it as real as possible. And... It just pulled on my heartstrings, the whole thing. Them being in the hospital, pacing back and forth, Sonny just eating himself up over all of the things that he's put Clay through. Clay's family back at home, not knowing what's happening. When they sent Davis uh, to Stella's house, it's just, uh, it's just a moment that you just, is so real on screen. You know? And, uh, and the way the guys rally around Clay... And then Clay has a moment with Jason where he sits down and he, he tells him, you know, if I'm going to go out, like, I'm okay with this, with my brothers. And you're just like, dude, they are not going to kill Clay. Come on. And then 
he has his moment with Sonny when Sonny stays back with him in the hospital. He says, I won't leave him here. And he has his moment with Sonny where he says, if, if I'm, if I leave, I'm, if I don't make it home, there's no one else I want to take care of my family than you forever, you know? And it was, uh, it was a touching moment because him and Sonny have been through so much together. And it's really a, a bond that went deeper than all the stupid bullshit. And that's what they, they gave us. And so they, you know, they get back to stateside, everyone but Sonny, and, and you just see the torment that Jason puts himself through. And I like that they're giving us the support of Mandy, who kind of understands Jason and will stick with him, even though we know that he's going to try to push her away and she's just going to push back. And I love that about that, that character, that they're going to let this happen and see it through. And then you see the um, the moment when, you know, Sonny call, or Stella calls and Sonny answers and they rush um, play out kind of flatlining. And just the intensity behind it is just so much. Every, could you imagine just trying to FaceTime your husband and, you know, best friend answers the phone and then you hear it in the background? I couldn't even imagine. And they did such a great job of telling this heartbreaking story and uh you know jason says well if he's okay call stella if it's bad news call me and then his phone rings and he says it's sunny and you're just thinking they better not kill clay they better not do us like this not on episode one come on and uh you know they bring play out and and sunny's just sunny's just losing it man because he sees him banged up and they you know they take the lower part of clay's leg off and to me, watching it, I, I understood the emotion behind it because he's not coming back, you know, 100%. And Clay's never going to come back from this 100%. But if they give him, if they give him a, uh, an ending to this character that leaves him with a prosthetic leg outside of Bravo with his family to live out the rest of his life, good with that. You know, there's a lot of people that walk around with prosthetic legs. It's not the end of the world for that character. And I could see that the heart wrench part of it for, for Sonny it was just, um, you know, him just standing there crying and just, just looking at him. It was just uh, it was heartbreaking, you know. And I think they didn't give us the <clears throat> viewpoint from everyone back at home. They kind of left it at that, which is it's just fine. I mean... If he's going to be okay and he's going to come home to them, I'm good with it. But man, I, I, I mean, bullshit. I probably cried four or five times watching this. And it just, even with a lot going on in my life and you know, what I've been going through personally and everything, it just, all of this just really hit me. And this show's done it before. So this is nothing new. So um, to my SEAL team friends out there that watch the podcast, Season's gonna be tough. I can feel it. See, it kind of reminds me of when um when Jason lost his wife, and and just the uh, the moments were just so real. So season six, episode one, did not disappoint. If you want to check out some of the TMF gear? Check out the link below. This is one of my new one, uh, my new shirts. It's me versus me. Um, one of my new gym shirts. I didn't even change it. So, huh, it's gonna be a hell of the season. Stick around for more content and I'll see you guys next week.